Hello, YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today, we're going to talk about a young lady who got fired from her job because she dared to stand up. And by the way, if you want to watch this video, you can like and subscribe after you watch it and you, you're liking it. Cool. Don't even know what I said there. But if you don't like it, that's cool, too. Glad you came by. We're working our way toward the soundboard here to continue to increase the uh, production of this set. So if you want to help donate, here it is. Appreciate you. All right, so let's watch this young lady. Is Benicia open-minded? Is this a town that values free speech? If you disagree with someone, would you contact their employer and demand they be fired? Here is my story. I was enjoying life in this beautiful small town with a happy family and a successful career. And as a mom of three, I'm an advocate for my children, so I pay attention to what they are teaching in the schools. Did you know the Benicia Unified School District just approved new sexual education curriculum? On April 20th, I spoke at the school board meeting to say I disagreed with several items in the new lesson plans. You can hear what I said in the public video provided by the school district on their YouTube channel. Within days, letters were written to the Benicia Herald, the Vallejo Times Herald, and my company's corporate headquarters saying I was anti-equity, anti-trans, anti-black, anti-choice, and a homophobe because I dared to disagree with the new school curriculum. They called me a hateful bigot, a Nazi, a daughter of Hitler, and repeatedly identified me as a Compass real estate agent although I never mentioned I was a real estate agent or that I worked for Compass. Members of the Progressive Democrats of Benicia and a subset of that group called Benicia Resist continued in their campaign to have me fired. They referenced a website I started last year when the schools still mandated masks, which I created as a resource to show the school districts that allowed mask choice. Take a look for yourself at BeniciaFreedom.org. So because I voiced my concerns about things like 10-year-olds being told in school that they can take puberty blockers, and I challenged the new curriculum that teaches children that boys can be girls and girls can be boys, the bullies in Benicia decided I should be fired. And you know what? Compass, a powerful national company who could have stood up for me and my American right to voice my opinion as a mom at a school board meeting, caved to the bullies' demands. The treasurer of the Progressive Democrats of Benicia demanded that Compass provide answers about what I said at the school board meeting, or she would go public, in her words, about Compass not reigning in hate for transgender kids. She even gave a deadline for her demands, and sure enough, like clockwork, Compass informed me that I could no longer be associated with them by her deadline date. So my entire business, everything I had invested was gone, just like that. By strangers who have never met me and newspapers who never even contacted me before printing hateful lies, none of which are true. The people who wrote to the newspapers and to Compass intentionally interfered with my business. What they did is illegal. But because of anti-slap laws in California, I cannot protect myself or go after them for destroying my career, even though what they did is against the law. How can it be that in America, a mom who speaks at a school board meeting can be targeted and canceled, losing her livelihood? What does that say about our community? Do you believe in diversity and inclusion? Are you truly open to diversity of opinion and inclusion of all beliefs? Or do you think people who disagree with you should be silenced? To the progressive Democrats of Benicia, whose website states their core principles are inclusion and tolerance, I challenge you to truly be inclusive and tolerant. Do you believe Benicia is a better place if everyone who disagrees with you is financially ruined and canceled? You've called me the most hateful things imaginable, all untrue. Why? Because I disagree with you? To the school board of Benicia, do you think parents who disagree sometimes should be canceled? I went from a vibrant, contributing member of your community to an outcast because I disagreed and spoke at a school board meeting. Is this the town you want? 
If concerned parents can be labeled as bigots and compared to Nazis in letters published in the local newspapers, what does that say about Benicia? Learn more at canceledinbenicia.com. Now, I don't know how long ago this video was made, but here's one thing I want to say. <laughs> Actually, I got a couple things I want to say. Maybe three things. Let me say this. This is the problem we have, people. And this is why people are afraid to speak out. This is why people are afraid of getting canceled. And this is what bothers me so much about the discourse today we have, right? I want to just be able to have a conversation. And I don't think, I'm not saying this is a left thing. This is a right thing. This is a human thing to me. Because there's people on the right who don't want to talk. They want to just immediately call everybody on the left idiots and stupid. And they don't even want to have a conversation. I see it all the time. You see people who get on uh, uh, YouTube and they just react to like libs of TikTok or they just react to people who are on the left and say they're idiots, they're dumb, and they don't even add to the conversation, right? They just, just get on here and say, well, they're just a bunch of dummies. I get it. And then people say the same stuff when they look at people on the right video. They'll be like, man, they're all just living for Hitler. I don't know why they keep going that route. I don't know why we always I don't know why one side or the other always has to compare themselves to one of the deadliest people in the world ever. Say, "Oh, you know what? You're just like the person who took the lives of millions." It's like, I don't know if we have to go that far. But uh, anyway, that's just buzzwords. They just do that to make you feel like the worst person on the planet. The problem we have today, man, is that people really don't want to discuss anything. It's even hard to talk to and be honest, if you're a person who talks to young people, if you notice trying to talk to real young people, I'm talking about even just their 20s, it's almost impossible to even have a conversation with them because the second you start to disagree, they immediately think whatever you're saying is hate speech. They think whatever you're saying means you hate them. Like if I go, you know what? Yeah, over here in um, this section right here, I, I noticed that it said that we're going to have to go to a pride event and we have no choice if we do not show up to the pride event we'll be suspended i just don't know if i agree with that and then immediately you get canceled and they go come for your job all i said is i disagree i mean did you just make the article for us just to follow it do you just say stuff so we just immediately bow down and say yeah i'm gonna do it that no, no matter what it says i can't disagree with nothing i just have to do it and then i immediately lose my job because y'all see that happen all the time now. People are so quick to dox. And if you don't know what it means for somebody to dox you, it means they give away, they come, they find your address, uh, and they, they tell everybody where you live. And they don't do it really because it's not, not too often have I heard somebody get doxxed and people actually show up. People dox you because they try to get the police called on you. Once people figure out where you live, they can figure out where you work or at least the vicinity of where you work. And that's, how, that's why people tend to dox people. They try to get in communication with your job. They try to get in communication with your police department. They try to get in uh, communication with anybody they can find to make sure that they, they can tell everybody who you are. Come on, man. This lady disagreed and they got her fired. Because she was a parent. It's like, can we, I mean, can we do it? Can we talk? Based off the video of her going up there and speaking, it's not like she went up there and yelled and said, I hate every one of y'all. If I see y'all on the streets, it's on sight. She didn't do anything like that. She just, she obviously wouldn't do that because she has a job in the city. Duh. Obviously, she's going to go up there and try to be polite. She's not trying to show a scene. She's just saying, hey, I'm a little concerned about the policies we got going here. I don't know if my kid can be involved in this. I mean, can y'all at least take a look at it? Nope. You're fired. <laughs> oh, man. Where we have fallen so far. There used to be times where y'all remember growing up a little bit. And I'm not trying to sound like the old geezer here because I'm not. But y'all remember growing up and there was the Democrats and there were the Republicans. And if you say you're a Republican, people were like, ah, OK. But if you say you're a Democrat, people are like, ah, OK. Now, <laughs> if you pick one side or the other, you might as well have to sign your life over. Because if you say you're a Republican, 
oh, they're going to put you in everything. They're going to say you alt right. They're going to say you, you're a Nazi. They're going to say you hate blacks. You hate everything. And if you're a Democrat, you're going to get called an idiot, stupid. How could you do that? You hate kids. You're, you're a groomer. You're all this kind of stuff. If you pick a side, you might as well have signed your life away. It's like, and people may say that I'm conservative or whatnot. No, I'm not. I'm nothing. Well, I mean, I guess I'd have to pick a group. But I guess most people would say I'm conservative. But I really just lean on what I believe. Right? I just pick the side that the best, the best lineup with my beliefs. That's just me being honest. That's all I do. Obviously, you can't pick the perfect candidate. Heck, it's not like, I w even if I was running for president, I wouldn't think I was a perfect candidate because there's just no way to do it all. So you got to pick what you can pick. I mean, I don't, yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm just saying it shouldn't be this way, man. It shouldn't be this way. I want us to be able to have a discussion. I really do get tired of saying, oh, man, the people over on the left. I'm just so sick of that. It makes it feel like we're two different groups. When in reality, I know people on the left and right. I work with the guy who is on the complete left. And or he, what he would say. He called himself a liberal, you know, and he would call me a conservative. And we were great. We talked to each other all the time. Great friends. We vehemently agree on a, disagreed on a lot of stuff, especially morally. But did I hate the man? Did I say he should die? Did I say he should be fired? I didn't do any of that. Did he say that against me? Nope. We worked together and we were civil. Because that's how it's really supposed to be. Now, obviously, some stuff that can be very moral that you feel like you really got to fight against. And I completely agree with that. But not to the point where I start hating you as a human being. I'm, I'm going to try to persuade your ideas. That's what I'm going to do. If I believe what you're doing is morally wrong and I, I disagree with it, then I'm, what am I going to do? I'm going to speak, give you the facts that I have and try to speak against it. I, I, and to be fair, I've been the kind of guy who stood on the side of the road holding up a sign. I obviously didn't yell at nobody. I didn't do nothing to nobody. We didn't curse at nobody. We didn't do any of that. We held up our signs, peaceful protest. That's all we did. And we went home. That's it. I'm cool with those, man. But today it's like, if you don't believe, and I hate it being this extreme, but it's like, if you don't believe, you got to die. It's like, is it that serious? If I don't believe, you got to take my life? If, you, if I don't believe, you got to spit in my face now? If I, I, and I understand some people say sometimes it just comes to that. But if it comes to where we got to fight each other, if it comes to the point where we got to get each other fired, if it comes to the point where we got to start spitting in each other's faces when it's just not that necessary, we're doomed. Because you think things are going to get better if every time, I, if I know that if I say, you know what, I think I'm against trans surgeries. I already know it's going to be a fight on site. Man, I'm going to have to start, we're going to have to start carrying weapons going everywhere. Because you know the conversation going to come up. We adults. It's going to come up. Some, if at some point somebody, or we're going to be cowards and we're never going to talk about it. Th that's the only other way to do it. It can't just be, be a coward or you got to fight to the death over one topic that we just disagree about. You got to ruin somebody's livelihood. YouTube politics. We see this happen on YouTube. And I can speak a little bit better to this because I've had this happen. Uh, you, you make a video on a YouTuber. You disagree. They copyright strike you. There are some people who really do live off of YouTube and you're willing to copyright strike them just to take away their livelihood because they disagreed with you? Why? Only reason you should ever copyright strike somebody is that they literally are taking your content, stealing it, they put your video up and walk off camera, they don't say anything at all, and they just steal your content, literally. That's all that's going on. Or they're really trying to do something to you that's heinous. Like they get on they get on the YouTube channel and say, find this YouTuber, take their life. Okay, I can understand a copyright strike or a privacy strike or something like that. Somebody copyright strike me. Guess this. You'll never believe this. Somebody copyright struck me. I use six minutes of their video in a three hour live stream. Six minutes I used their video in a three hour live stream. I put the video up on YouTube. The six minutes that I took out of their video, 
the entire video that I actually put up, that that clip I put up, it was a clip that I did put up out of the three-hour live stream. She did a six-minute video. I think my video was 30 minutes long. Five times the clip. Her video, her video on its own was 30 minutes. I took six minutes of it, had a 30-minute clip out of that whole thing. Five times. And this, part, this person copyright shark me where I couldn't upload videos. This person didn't even respond to me when I asked, can you take off the strike? What are you doing? But that's my problem today. People don't even want to have a discussion. If they don't like what you do, they just immediately copyright strike you. And just say, oh, no, nope. But I, I didn't even, di you know what's crazy about that? Is I didn't even say anything about her. I watched the video and that was it. I watched the clip and said, hey guys, this is this person. Y'all go check her out. I still got copyright striked. Didn't even say anything. But this person is so hungry for money that they copyright showed me. And it's not like they, nobody knows who this person is. I'm not trying to be mean, but it's not like this person was huge. I can't stand people like that, man. People who aren't willing to discuss anything. And that's the way we live now, man. And that's the way we live now. And I feel sorry for people who are so afraid to get canceled. And this is why I say this too. I am not mad at people who don't always speak up. I said this and I'll say this again. Not everybody can hop on camera. Not everybody can do this because some people will lose their jobs. I get it. If you got a family to feed, you shouldn't just go be brash and just start a fight to start it. Now, I wouldn't say that if somebody came to you and said, hey, you do this or else, you can't stand up a little bit. But if it's going to cost you your job, how am I going to be mad at you? I can't. I can't. But this woman didn't go in there thinking that she was going to lose her job. She went in there to voice her concern. That's the whole, what the heck is the point of the board meeting if I can't even go in there and express what I, I thought the point of the board meeting was for me to go in there and say, hey, this is some stuff I disagree with. If we're just going to come in here and you want me to say, I love this. I love this thing. It's all great. And then, I, and then what? Those board members should have been ashamed of themselves. Who knows what ended up happening with this story? Man, I hate this left versus right thing. I hate it, man. But y'all know what I say. You know what they all say. We in the game, baby. We got to play it. Yeah. And if that's how they want to play it, that's how they got to have to play it, man. Some of us will be able to stand up and we're willing to lose our jobs. Some of us won't. And that's completely fair. I'm completely fine if you got a family to take care of and you cannot get... You cannot talk against trans people. I fortunately live in a place where vast majority of the people believe how I believe. That wasn't my plan. I mean, I had my beliefs before, obviously, before I knew these people would believe what I did. But if they didn't, don't think I wouldn't talk against it. I still would. But I, I own a house, you know, so I wouldn't be worried about certain stuff. I could just go back and live in my house again. But, you know, anyway, let me know what y'all think. I'm gone.